Hi guys, this is Hollywood Today, digital edition, instantly tweetable, Facebookable, Instagrammable, whatever the next social mediaable is, we are there. You can tweet us at Official HTL, and we're at Hollywood Today live on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Kristen Brockman. And I'm Amanda Salas. Our next guest is one of the stars on MTV's controversial new series, Happy Land, which just premiered this week. Take a look. My friend here decided to take a happy nap, and I need your help getting him out of the park without the guests or staff waking him. Oh, wait, is he dead? Like I said, he's taking a happy nap. Okay, why, don't, why don't we call the paramedics? It's a little late for that. No one's ever died at Happy Land. It's not about to happen on my watch. All right, people need to leave smiling, not scarred. I don't feel comfortable with this. Do you feel comfortable having a job? Go get a wheelchair. Ooh! Oh, oh. Hey. Please Ryan. welcome Ryan Rotman. Hey, Ryan! Thank you guys for having me. Clean cut there. I look completely different. I look I like, uh, like 12 here and my age on here. I like the script. Normally. Well, I Thank heard you. that when you were auditioning for this role, they actually wanted you to channel your inner Lord Scott Disick. They did. Um, oh. I went in for the first time, and uh, I did it three, four times. And I go, right, that was great. We want you to be a little more cocky. Do you watch uh, The Kardashians? And I was like, I don't. Yeah, right. Um, they like, <laughs> yeah. uh, do you know who Lord Disick is? And I was like, yeah, I know who Lord Disick is. And they like, channel him. I was like, uh, all right, give me a second to kind of prepare for a second, and which is kind of an asshole, yeah. really arrogant, entitled, entitled, and mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know him personally, so I don't right. know if he's like that in real life, but his persona and Lord, Lord Disick, not Lord Disick. Disick. Scott Disick, yes, exactly. <laughs> and uh, they loved it. And they, next time I came back, they asked me to do it again, and the third time they're like, just you're, you're Lord Disick, just do it. And I was like, all right, and the uh, creator loved it. He's probably totally loved. He's probably heard about this too, or he will he now because he's yeah. definitely watching Hollywood today. I heard he watches every day. Exactly. Yeah. So he's probably gonna love it. I feel like he would be the kind that would love that there's a role. I channeled of. this, so I actually watched this on set to channel him. There you go. I can't help but notice how handsome you are. Okay. Um, <laughs> ever since you walked in, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. I just, you're very handsome. I just have to like, your name's Ryan Rotman, but like. Did you go by like Ryan Hotman? Oh, or man. no. Ever, uh, ever, ever? In I school? did not. I had a buddy that, that uh, would joke around with that for a while, but I, yeah. I'm sure people <laughs> did. They just maybe didn't say it to your face. Some girls, right? Well, oh, I, I hope so. Ryan I hope Hotman. So. Like... Ryan, okay, so the show, uh, Happy Land. <laughs> <laughs> I, we just can't talk about how good I'm looking like, we'll is Ryan is all day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the show, Happy Land, just premiered, and, yeah. and it's about life behind the scenes at a theme park. So when I first heard this concept, I was thinking like carnies, but this is more like, well. Much like peg hands walking. This is more right. like, like Disneyland or like it's Six like Flags. Six Flags, yeah. Okay, and so what exactly does go behind on behind the scenes at a So like, theme park? you know, growing up, I took a bunch of pictures with like, you know, you go to the theme parks and you take pictures with all the, the characters and you get their autographs in a little book and I still have it and you like, you idolize them. And now going back and we, you know, we interviewed a bunch of people that work at the different theme parks and got their stories and put them into the show. And now going back, it's just kind of creepy. And uh, I kind of tagged it like sex, drugs, and roller coasters. Oh. And that was a pretty good tag, right? Yeah, that Very is. Very happy with myself <laughs> in that one. And, uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she really liked that one. I'm calling right? because you're so good looking. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually just ages. <laughs> um. So uh, we interviewed a bunch of them and uh, heard their stories and it's, they're, they're nuts. They close the employee court door closes and they go back there and they, you know, hook have hookups and get Ooh, high. At and, the at the park? Yeah. But you're like in the, at Happy Land. Yeah. My family yeah. owns it. That's right. Owns the park. Oh, thank you. So I have to make sure <laughs> <laughs> So I have to make sure when they're back there that they're not actually like hooking up in the outfits. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, no, well, it's really interesting because you see movies about like, you know, people who wait tables, and a lot of people have worked in the service industry, but you really don't hear about this life behind the scenes of the amusement park. Um, but the interesting thing is, we're talking about it being so controversial, is yeah. that possibly the, the two, Ian and Lucy, the two main characters, yeah, who are in love interest, but maybe related? Brother and sister? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, so they, you know, the whole first MTV, episode for sure. Those, those, those guys, they, they, they like to stretch it, they like to push the boundaries. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, they're faking it too. It's two girls pretending to be right. lesbians. Right. Uh, little plug. Uh, so they, 
you know, at the end of the episode, kiss, and then come to find out that they could be brother and sister. So the whole season kind of evolves around, are they, are they not? Can they hook up? Can they not hook up? Is that weird? Of course it's oh, weird. So the whole season we're not going to know if they are or they aren't. You kind of find that little tidbits of, of who the hookups of the parents, mm -hmm. are they really? Um, and I'm, you know, my, I know a lot more than I let on. So I'm constantly like, whoosh, oh, you get do. people. Yeah. It's called a dramedy. Is it yeah. a little more on the dramatic side or a little more on the comedic side though? Um, it's a little bit of both. I mean, the dramedy really of like in the a... scene you just saw that there's a dead person at the theme park. Right. So you have the drama of like, dark, like, oh crap, this guy's yeah, dead. Right. And then the comedy aspect of like, how the hell do we get him out of here yeah. without people knowing that he's dead and racing him around the, in the park in a wheelchair. So it's aspects of both. My stuff is more dramedy because I'm kind of a hard-ass. Yeah, you seem like this, this is, yeah, yeah, like a serious role for you. In a way. Yeah, more, even more though so. You're and channeling. I'm suited up in my suit and tie every episode, uh, which is fun. They really dressed me really cool in the show. Um, and then now is my time to kind of relax and grow my facial hair. Yeah. Ryan Rotman. Well, let's talk about Ryan Rotman and, and not just your character on Happy Land. Okay. Um, I, I've actually known you for a long time. Yeah, we've known you And long you long still long run around with, like, the same people you have run around with for years, like, which... I've been here like nine, ten yeah, years. Yeah, I think that's so amazing, especially Thank in this you. town. And then so many of you guys have become really successful. Not to name drop, oh. uh, Kellen Lutz, Zach Efron, wow. Michael B. Jordan. These are just a few people Hello. that are in your <laughs> circle. How, uh, you know, Hollywood is a tough town where a lot of people can't be trusted, a lot of people backstab, a lot of people do whatever they can and, and, and really get completely new circles when they become successful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think that you guys did so right to, to stick with it after all these years? We all kind of came up together. We've all known each other for eight, nine years. And, um, and kind of at the start, and we all give each other crap all the time. We were really quick to bring each other back to, back to ground level. Um, and we are very encouraging of each other. You know, when someone doesn't get it, we're both, we're all there to, you know, pat their back and lift them up. And it's, we all have the same humor, and mm -hmm. it's, it's great. We just, we check each other at the door, which is good. All, everything when you walk in that door is, gets checked. It's just friends. And everything else. And we, I mean, a bunch of us had these tattoos, which is pretty cool. It's like a uh, friendship bracelet, but we Aww. left it we left Brady it open. That, right? yeah. yeah, we left it open for people. What about new, that new tattoo on your other hand? Oh yeah, that was a. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you want to show little, uh, Oh yeah, that one. Yolo. Yolo. <laughs> yeah, that was a. Uh, I was a little intoxicated that night with two of my friends, and we uh, we weren't that intoxicated, but we thought it was a great idea. It kind of had a little story behind it of a fan that was. Um, young and kind of sick and came up asking for one of my buddies for a picture and said you only live once kind of thing and kind of stuck with us and then of course the song came out right. like oh you know it's so crazy like whenever we're, one of us doesn't want to do anything because we're lazy we, should, we could salute each other and be like you have to because you only live once remember the kid That's right. and so it worked but then we we put him here thinking like no one would see it and of course <laughs> it's like the first thing i asked it's the about first it. thing like, everyone it. sees yeah. now it's like i couldn't have put it oh in it's not the place. first thing everyone sees but you know <laughs> it's a close it's a close second catch ryan his handsome face and his tattoos on happy land tuesday nights on mtv and thank you yes. so much for coming yes. thank you for having me see you you guys don't go anywhere because Cooch Hall of Ray Donovan, Kelly McCreary of Grey's Anatomy, and Elena Kamporis of Men, Women, and Children. They're all here today. It is a star-studded lineup. Woo! You can only get here on Hollywood, Hollywood Today Live Digital Edition. Yeah. yeah.